gymnosphems. So generally, gymnosphems means gymnosphems is derived from gymnosphems word is derived from Greek language. Greek language. So in this gymno means naked. Spems means seeds, naked seeds. Spems means uh, seeds. So that is known as that uh, gymnosphems, it is that naked seeds. It means in this ovary is absent. So that's why ovules are naked. Okay? So ovary is absent, that's why fruits are not formed. Fruits are not formed. So fruits, it means seeds are not covered with the fruit wall. Seeds are not covered with the fruit wall. Seeds are not covered with fruit wall. So they are known as that uh, gymnosomes, naked seeds. Okay. So ovules are exposed. Ovules are exposed to atmosphere. Ovules are exposed to that uh, atmosphere before or after fertilization after pollination or fertilization okay so generally this gymnosomes are okay most of that uh, so they are having that so habitat simple plants up to that uh, largest plant Gymnosperms having that starting with simple plants up to largest plants and some are bushes and some are bushes. It means shrubs. Shrubs means bush-like appearance of plants. Bush-like plants are known as that as shrubs. So, in the most, is the largest tree belongs to gymnosum that is known as red giant wood. So, this red giant wood is known as that sequoia. Sequoia, it is a red giant wood, it is the largest tree in the plant kingdom. In plant kingdom, and it is the tallest tree. So, it grows up to that 300 meters. Okay. So that is that uh, largest tree in the plant kingdom. And after that, some gymnosomes are fossil, living fossil. That is known as ginkgo. Ginkgo, G silent. So in that ginkgo biloba, ginkgo biloba is a living fossil. It is an object to be. Living fossil is Ginkga biloba. Okay. So after that, generally gymnosomes are some are branched and some are unbranched. Okay. So it means they are hard woody trees. Most of the trees are hard woody trees. Most of the plants are hard woody tree trees. So some are branched. 
so this branch the summer branch example pinus another one is the cedrus so these are that uh, okay branch after that unbranched stem unbranched stem example cycas it is known as past of relic objective bit it is described as past of relic so that is known as that uh, objective bit past of relic cycas okay so it means generally <coughs> tap root system in all most of the plants gymnosperms showing showing or having tap root system generally they are grown in dry drought and also in the hill region so they are that evergreen forest some plants are generally they are that so they are also grown in some evergreen forest also okay after that most of the plants having that most all all plants are generally tap root system so in some plants for example you observe that in cycas cycas plant having that two types of roots that is known as dimorphic nature dimorphic roots for example it is a cycas plant stem is unbranched it producing of the roots that is known as that generally it is a tap root system it is known as that generally tap root system so about that uh, crown is shape leaves are present it is appear just like that date palm it is appear just like the date palm so date palm phoenix species okay <coughs> so in this one general is a tap root system it is known as that tap root system but so th this plants producing okay opposite to that earth apogeotrophically some coral like roots are produced so this coral like roots are known as that uh, coralloid roots they are known as that uh, coralloid roots generally this it is a coralloid root this coralloid root grows finger like projections produce from the soil opposite to the earth towards to that okay light so this type of coral like roots are known as that coralloid roots so this coralloid roots having that okay so blue green algae so this this coralloid roots having that blue green algae so this blue green algae are uh, anabina cycadesiarum and nostra functiform and nostra functiform eh? so this anabina cycadesiarum and nostra functiform eh? so these are that uh, blue green algae so due to the presence of blue green algae it is uh, symbiotic nature to that coralloid roots 
So that is known as the symbiosis process. Symbiosis process. Symbiosis process means so mutual relationship between two different organism. Mutual relationship between two different organism. So that is known as the symbiosis process. So two different organism means it is at uh, roots of uh, okay vascular plants. Okay, association with uh, okay blue green algae anabina. Cycades yarum and nasta functiforme. Due to the presence of blue green algae, this plant is able to fixation of uh, atmospheric nitrogen. So these roots are able to fixation of atmospheric nitrogen. Atmospheric nitrogen. So these are that lenticels. So these lenticels are used for exchange of gases. Okay. So that is known as that uh, cycus plant. It is that uh, corolloid root. Okay. So above that cycus leaves are crowny leaves. Unbranched stem leaves are crowny leaves. So this unbranched stem is known as that. Uh, it is that unbranched stem. So this unbranched stem is known as cordex. right so that is known as that uh, cycus plant okay after that pinus pinus showing having that mycorrhiza Mycorrhiza. So it means fungal filaments are close association with fungal filaments are close association with roots of vascular plants, roots of vascular plants is known as that uh, mycorrhiza so for example it is a pinus plant so this pinus plant having that uh, only less root system so it lateral roots are very less it means uh, root hairs are very less for that uh, okay then it is association with they are known as that uh, fungal filaments so they are known as that mycorrhiza Myco Raisa. Example, Pinus. It is at a symbiotic association with uh, fungal filaments and uh, roots of vascular plants. Right? So, that is known as that Myco Raisa. Example, Pinus. It is at a gymnosphemes plants. <coughs> so, this Myco Raisa help to that Pinus to increase the absorption area. Increasing absorption area to the plants to plant next so and it protect from drought and salty soils okay and also protect from pathogens protect from that pathogens okay so these are that uh, important point about that mycorrhiza increasing absorption area to the plant protect from the drought and uh, salty soils and protect from that pathogens so that is that importance of mycorrhiza to that uh, pinus seeds. So it means pinus seeds cannot germinate without mycorrhiza and establish it. It is that objective bit important. So after that, generally, after the root stem, 
ओके स्टम इज वूडी एंड वैस्लर टिश्यूस आर वैस्लर टिश्यूस आर कॉन्जाइंट कोलेटरल एंड ओपन टाइप ऑफ वैस्लर बंडल्स कॉन्जाइन कोलेटरल एंड ओपन टाइप ऑफ वैस्कुलर बंडल्स सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ इज प्रेजेंट सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ प्रेजेंट इन सम जिम्नोस्वेम्स वैस्कुलर बंडल्स आर कॉन्जाइन कॉन्जाइन मीन्स जेलम एंड फ्लोएम इट इज अट वैस्कुलर बंडल सो दट इज नोन एज दट जेलम दट इज नोन एज द फ्लोएम so both are okay joint both are combined so that is known as conjoint collateral it means for example it is a stem so these are that vascular bundles in that vascular bundle so that is known as that phloem so it is known as the xylem so xylem xylem vascular tissues and phloem vascular tissues all are arranged in that same okay rate they are arranged radially collateral means xylem and phloem strands are vascular tissues arranged radially it means on a single line so that is known as conjoint collateral and open type open type means between the phloem and xylem cambium is present that is known as the cambium cambium is present due to the presence of cambium they are participate in secondary growth right after that generally in the xylem and phloem one is the important point is there all gymnosperms and pteridophytes only in xylem in pteridophytes and all most gymnosperms conduction of water and minerals conduction of water and minerals takes place by tracheids takes place by that uh, tracheids but in neatum plant <coughs> it is a neatum plant so conduction of water mineral takes place by that xylem vessels it is a objective bit xylem vessels neatum so it's showing some angiospermic character it shows angiosperms character character what are that so generally leaves are simple reticulate venation reticulate venation and xylem vessels right so after that is known as the xylem part so generally after that so in the phloem along with the sieve tubes okay so sieve tubes so sieve tubes are involved in the conduction of food material in all the gymnosperms okay so and uh, vessels are absent it means sieve cell sieve sieve cells sieve cells are present in all the gymnosperms plant but so but in some plants uh, sieve elements means sieve tubes plus 
companion cells are present only in that netum netum having that xylem vessels and cvlm is tubes with the companion cells so these are that object to be okay so generally in gymnosperms 